I asked my wife to bring me a new tomato plant to add to my container gardening system. So she just came back from the Master Gardener's spring sale and she picked me up a Bush Champion, which should be a good grower in this area. I mix up a five gallon bucket with 70% peat moss, 30% perlite. I added a cup of gardener's lime and I added a cup of microlife. Now microlife is organic and so I'm going organic on this one. This is a 624, you cannot over fertilize and this is great for all different kinds of plants and it's a nice slow release, won't burn the plants and contains 2% of iron and billions of beneficial microorganisms. This is a product that's available in Texas. I don't know if it's available in your area, but it's full of really good stuff. So I'm gonna go completely organic with this one. I decided to add it to the beginning of the chain. So I went ahead and drilled out my bucket. I got an old t-shirt, cut it in half, put it through the bottom. I got my new bucket added to the system. This used to be the first bucket. So I just added this in front of it. And uh, here's my other tomato. It's going really well. It's just, it's at least doubled in, oh, I've got a tomato. I didn't see that. I've got a tomato right here. Look at that. It's at least doubled in size. It looked pretty sickly because I didn't take good care of it. But it is, uh, since we put it in here, it's been doing really, really well. This is a sweet Chelsea cherry tomato. It's so tall I've had to put a, a cage around it. So now I'm ready to go ahead and get water started in here. I want water to, to flow from here to there. And from, so I'm gonna lift up this bucket and that'll start water coming out of that hose. There we go. See water coming out of there. So that's completed that system. I want water to come here too. So I'm just gonna lift up this container. There's the water coming out of there. So now I've got it, my siphoning going and so I'm, I'm good to go. Now what I could do just to speed things up is just add some more water in here uh, just so I don't have to drain the water from, from these containers. I'm gonna add my soil mix in here and get it planted. What I did this time is I mixed the garden lime and the fertilizer all the way through the soil. So I'm not doing a ring around here I mix everything all the way through the soil. That way the soil is all completely equal as far as pH and the fertilizer is all the way through it to help the micro life grow in here. I have a nice slope on that so when it rains it doesn't fill up the soil and get everything drowned. And then to cover it I'm using a recycled peat moss. Somebody mentioned in a comment in one of my earlier videos on the off-grid self-watering container gardening system that they use their bags. I thought it was a great idea. So I'll cut this to fit and use that for my covering and then I'll put the tomato in it. Okay, I got out my trusty Everyday Carry Tool Logic combo flashlight and knife, which I always have with me. I love this little tool. I'll have to do a review on it. And I cut my X in the middle and I'm ready to plant the tomato plant. There we go. She's all planted. Looks great. And she's next to her friend over here. Look how much richer and greener this one is here than the one I just planted. Be interested to see if this changes color and gets a better, deeper color. But anyway, took very little time, took very little soil, wasn't heavy because I'm using light peat moss and perlite. I'm not bringing in bags of heavy soil. I was able to reuse some material that would have just gone into the garbage, so that's a good thing. We're all set up, everything's good. And so that is how you add an additional item to the off-grid self-watering container gardening system. Of course, you can just add it to the end of the line, uh, which would have been what normally is done, but I just want to put it next to this other tomato here. So there we have an organically planted tomato, added a new item to the off-grid system, and I'm looking forward to seeing this plant grow up, be big and strong, and have lots of tomatoes. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared and you use off-grid self-watering container gardening system, you'll have a great harvest.